Hi everyone, Kelvin here. Um, so welcome to another tutorial. So basically, yeah, what we're going to be doing today is, um, basically, trying to get this trusted by, right? Um, and also to make these things move right. You can see how they change from time to time, right? So that's basically what we'll be doing today, right? Awesome. So. What we need to do is first things first we try to get our trusted buy okay so to do this trusted buy um first things first we have to type okay so we just basically type trusted buy right um just type it like this then you give space right with your space bar now you copy everything here right you press ctrl c now on the same line notice on my panel here my layer panel i am not creating any other trusted by it is still the same thing just one layer on that same trusted by so the only thing i did now is i press ctrl a to copy both the text and the space all right so i'm just copying it Ctrl A to highlight everything, then Ctrl C to copy. Okay, so then I'll just click, right? Make sure it's still on it. So this is still it, right? I'm still typing. So this is it. So I just keep pasting Ctrl V, Ctrl V, Ctrl V. Now let me zoom out so that you can see the entire screen. Ctrl V, Ctrl V, Ctrl V, right? I keep pasting. Ctrl V, Ctrl V, Ctrl V. I keep pasting. Ctrl V, Ctrl V, Ctrl V. I keep pasting. Right. So I think this is enough. Right. So it's starting from here to end somewhere here. All right. So that's perfect. Okay. So all we need to do now is, um, we basically have this now. Like I said, let me repeat again. This is just one text. I did not duplicate trusted by more than many like more than one times as in many layers it is just one text i kept typing across right just one text i kept typing across so it's very important because i don't want you to duplicate the trusted by if you do that you have to group but if you follow this method i just did you don't have to group it okay so we would have this drag it out of your um out of your frame okay so then you take it to the bottom we want to take this measurement because if you notice on this on this page here the trusted by it goes from okay so it goes from this end to this end right but um currently we want our own to go between here let's say from this place here to this place here Right, we don't want it to go to the end ending of the screen from one end of the screen to the other end of the screen right so we want it to go between these red lines all right so all we need to do now is come to this place we take our measurement so we want it to start from here right somewhere here okay so you can see it now is aligned right to start from somewhere here then it will end here so it will come out from here enter into this place it will start again from here enter into this place right so that's that so what we now need to do now is we frame our selection all right so let's right click and say frame selection now we framed the selection right the next thing we need to do is basically would come over here can you see this we drag this the end of the frame now we'll drag it we'll drag the end of the frame right so this is basically like you draw a rectangle and you are reducing the size of the rectangle so that's what i'm doing here so we have this now we drag it to the end here so that it aligns with this one right so let's zoom in so it aligns with this one and drag it here okay so we have this now the next thing we do is this now it now means 
the frame is going to start here and end here okay so now we have this now what you now need to do is you come to this place here can you see this place it says clip content so you clip the content right when you click on this clip content it will clip the excess part that is outside the frame right so remember we said we want it to come from here to this place so that is basically how it's going to be now all right so we have that then the next thing we do the next thing we do now is basically we click on this on the frame and we make it a component right we make it a component okay so now meaning um we want to prototype it you get right so we make it a component and also make give it a variant right so we, you need to make it a variant as well that is give it a variant that is the variant is going to be under this one so is that one we're going to link from this component we link it to the second variant right so we click on this and we have two like this so this first one and this second one right so now if you double click on this default you would see that this is the frame yeah but the text it runs across this it runs across this okay so because of that we have this now the next thing we do is we drag this second one this bottom one we drag it to this side so what we're basically doing is this excess that is on the first one that is here if we want to move the excess for the second one this way so we we'll just drag it all right we we'll drag it basically drag we we'll drag the excess till it gets to this place okay so we we'll drag it till it gets to this place so we we'll have something like this all right and make sure when you drag to the last one make sure it aligns properly all right make sure it aligns properly okay so now we have this nice now if you notice when i double click on this one can you see the excess for the bottom one is here right and the excess for the top one is here right so now this is the mode of this is now the movement it means when i link from here it would move till this one is exhausted all right so that's basically what we are trying to do here so then the next thing is we are going to do now is to link is to link both of them so to link both of them we come to prototype right as usual we we'll come to prototype we we'll click on this default we we'll drag it to the variant too all right now this way you are going to give it the instruction the instruction here the instruction here is on click right but now we'll change it to after delay now this after delay you notice that on the website here it this thing moves automatically without uh, any human effort without any um, person clicking on it right so that's what we want we want that this text would be moving on its own without anybody interfering with it all right so that's how it's going to move on its own so what we'll do is put it on after delay okay so we have on click we have on drag we have while hovering all these things would only work if you have to click on it like you have to use your mouse to do something but this after delay is automatically just moves on its own so you click on after delay right now after delay means after a certain number of uh, like a certain time begin to move all right now we just want it after delay of one millisecond okay after the delay of one milliseconds begin to scroll across the screen begin to scroll across the screen right so then the next thing change to and we already have this variant too now we will now change this mode to smart animate so smart animate is the one that is going to now 
give us like a storyline of how it moved from like those excess from this side how the excess moved to this other other part it is it is um it is smart animator that is going to do that for us all right so it is very important that we put it on smart animate then now we want our smart animate to be very smooth okay so that's why we're going to use linear okay then this 10,000 milliseconds is basically how long do you want it to run for all right so if you want it to run really slow you can put it on 10,000 milliseconds if you want it to run really fast you can reduce it from so the the lower it is here the faster it will run across the screen all right so now 10,000 milliseconds means it is going to run at a considerable speed okay so we have this then we close this then now you come to this bottom one you also drag this one up again okay so then the next thing we do is on click also make it after delay then one millisecond as well now we're not going to use our um, smart animate for this one what we're going to use is uh, we're going to use instant it meaning it means that once you've run across the screen like from this link when we're linking this top one to the bottom one once you run across the screen this um down one once it's going back to this screen it should start immediately not if you see if you leave it on smart animate it means it will run backward again you don't want that okay so it should start immediately all over again so it should repeat the process again so you change it to instant it means go and start repeat as uh, repeat the process all over again immediately so that's instant so once we are dragging from this top to the bottom it will be um smart animate but when we are taking it from the bottom to the top it will be instantly right it should happen instantaneously right so we've basically done that now we'll go to our assets panel and we drag it in right so let's take it up to somewhere here remember we want it to the frame we created is from this place to this place okay so now let's go to our you can see it right it's moving sorry this is it so you can see it now it's moving all right so that's basically how we did it all right so it is very simple and pretty much easy to understand all right so you can see it's just moving trusted by trusted by and that basically it okay so that's that's all that's all that's basically what we need to do okay so the next thing we need to also work on i hope you guys were able to understand this right so we'll use the same method to create many other interactions so the next interaction we'll also create is is this one so if you notice this a uh, testimonial after a while it would change after a while it would change after a while it will change right so and it is for testimonials so let's see this is the first one good faith yoga second one cocktail right two next one tommy Sin, the third one and the fourth one femme digital right so all we need to do is now let's copy this one we copy this one let's go to so let's go to somewhere here use our text tool draw a text box where the message is going to be right let's go back to our type two now let's draw this the text is supposed to be like 20 so let's reduce the text we have something like this semi bold no it's supposed to be like medium okay so we have this So then we we'll also copy this. We we'll copy this. Then 
this sorry this is just the text so we just put this here then this one will create another text that this one has this now this comes with a link let's edit and remove the link right so we have this then we'll make this orange okay so then we need um an arrow right we need an arrow so would work with this so let's say we use this right so just drag it into this so now let's reduce the size okay so now we we'll take this over here we we'll reduce the size as well right so now if you notice this is the layer so I, I just want to remove it from the frame it's um all icons usually comes with frames let me delete the frame so i just want to work with only the vector you can see it here all right so i zoom in so now we rotate it 90 degrees so that it can come like this all right so i think i still need to make it smaller okay so then we we'll duplicate hold our alt and drag to duplicate then we flip it shift v sorry shift h right to flip it to the other side okay so we have this now we're good to go okay so okay so I think we need to move this we need to move this towards the end in case we have other names that are really long so we need to move it somewhere here okay so now what we need to do is we group this right group ctrl G so we select everything and we group it all right so now the next thing we now do is basically duplicate this Hold your alt and drag now you are going to duplicate it four times right we duplicate it four times so that this one is what we would keep um so we have four one two three four of it this is what we're going to keep using to you know change text change the information right so we have this fm digital okay so um then we have this let's copy this one this one is for your the yoga so double click and paste it in there copy this name have this paste it so edit it and remove the link click on this to break the link All right so the next one come to this one so click on chops and copy this Click on chops. We have this. Edit. Break the link. The last one. So this last one. Double click. Paste this one here and 
paste it here and we edit break it break the link right so we have we have these four testimonials now right so all we need to do now is highlight everything okay highlight everything once we're done highlighting everything would now would now group them now we also need to group it again all right so group everything again so now they are now entirely one group okay they are now entirely one group so now they're entirely one group the next thing we do is we now frame it so right click and say frame selection now we framed it right we now use it to create um a component right so we have a component then after we have a component the next thing we do is we create variants right oh my bad sorry i made a mistake um before before creating the component after framing it we are supposed to create that it's only this first part that is going to show right just the same way we did for trusted by so we'll create our boundary so this frame now we'll drag this frame oh my goodness sorry sorry this um it is dragging the this um direction key along so let's look for a way to sort that out quickly let me find a way to sort that out it keeps dragging the okay so here's all here's what we're going to do here's what we're going to do so anytime i try to drag it keeps dragging um you know this direction key together so what i'm going to do now is i will drag this ruler here drag this ruler here okay so this is basically where we're going to create our frame right so i want to cut this thing out that is this entire group out then adjust my frame properly then i'll paste it back in please don't get lost what i'm trying to say is you notice when i click on this frame if i'm trying to um you know um just adjust only the frame it goes with this direction key can you see it goes with the direction key and i don't want that so this is just like to maneuver or pass over what is needed here so all i need to do is come to this i will select this i will press ctrl x to cut but i still have the frame all right so i will now adjust this frame like this to this point and i'll paste it back ctrl v inside so now the frame is still can you see now the frame the frame stops here can you see the frame starts here and stops here but the the entire group is still there just the same way we have it on the trusted by so the reason why i went through this route is because of this direction arrow right if we if if this direction arrow is not here we don't need to go through this process i just did all right okay so i hope you are able to get me all right so now the next thing we do is basically to clip the content like the way we did for trusted by so you come to this clip content you clip it all right we have this here now please don't get me wrong when i was trying to um you know 
um, reduce the frame so reducing the frame what I did was let me unclip the content what I did was while I was trying to drag the frame that it should start from here and end here it was dragging this direction key along with me and I don't want it to drag the direction key along with me so what I did was I had to cut out the entire group and adjust only the frame first then I paste the group back into the frame so that's what I did I didn't do anything out of the ordinary ordinary all right so I'll click my content back so we have this now so all I need to do is make this frame a component right add variant right so now we're going to have three more variants plus this default component to make everything four in total right because we have four testimonials okay so we we'll now add one two so we have one we have two we have three and we have four all right so now what we need to do is where you have two you double click on the group you drag it to the second one all right so you drag it like this can you see so we have this right now where you have three you drag it to the third one hold your shift when you are dragging so you can see it's going in a straight line right it's because of i'm holding my shift you drag it to the third one this is the second one now we are going to the third right so we drag this all right this one is the fourth one we'll drag it to the fourth one hold your shift please all right so we have this So we have this okay perfect so you notice we have the first one we have the second one we have the third one and we have the fourth one right so now you notice everything is well aligned so this is this is it now perfect okay so now all we need to do is so you notice on this part we have you can see the excess right um if you come to this one you see the excess is you know right then this other one you see the excess this other one you see the right so one two three four five right so the next thing we do is notice this interaction has there are two interactions here if you leave it for a while after a while it will change on its own let's give it some time notice it will soon change can you see it has changed right then also when you click on this arrow it can change by itself right so we also need to add this interaction as well all right so we have two interactions here one is automatically right so that means we're going to make use of after delay the second one is it makes use of the arrow right so this is on click right so the first one let us do the first one now so the first one we're going to do is we would come to our prototype right and we basically click on default right so let's close all this um we don't necessarily have to close it right but let, just make sure it's clicked on default so the first one now meaning it will change after a while by itself we'll hold hold your plus you drag it to this right when you drag it you say after delay because this one is automatically it will change right you click after delay and now you now say after it after the delay of like let's say 2000 milliseconds because you need to stay it needs to stay there for a while before it changes to this second one right so let's say 2000 no no let's say 5000 milliseconds right it will change to this second one 
okay then and it's instant you can see that there's no dissolve or anything right it is instantly to just change to a new thing okay you can see it's just changed to a new thing right so it is instant that's basically it then the next one again you come to this second one drag it to the third one and you say after delay of 5000 milliseconds all of them will be 5000 right it should change instantly right from this one now you drag it to the fourth one and say after delay of 5000 milliseconds instantly change to this fourth one right then on this fourth one you let's zoom it out now this fourth one you would drag it to the first one if the, the this last one now you drag it to the first again because it will repeat everything again so the first one you drag it back to the first uh, sorry the last one you drag it back to the first again and you still say after delay 5000 milliseconds and it should change instantly okay right so we have this now now let's see if it worked okay so i'll come to my assets and i will drag it in here right i'll drag it in here then let's see if it worked so now let's look at this let's observe this after a delay of five seconds five thousand milliseconds if it will change remember it's how you did i see let's see um i don't know if it's working i don't think it's working right so now let's go and check what happened all right let's check what happened now so let's check what happened what did we not do right okay so i'll click on this um let me check after delay 5000 milliseconds so now let's reduce it so that we can see if we are doing the right thing so let's take it to 500 then let me refresh just in case just in case that was the issue okay so it's working did you notice it just changed you can see it's working this is still missing now to change again okay so it was even working initially but i think it's because of we did not refresh so 5000 press enter so let's take it back to that 5000 so now let's see is veal and chops you can see it has changed to good faith yoga let's see the next one it has changed again cocktail and chops it has changed to to missing it has changed to femme digital right so it keeps changing right so now we have this now so the automatic part is working now the next one we want to do is the button this button part needs to work also so for the button part to work all we need to do is can you see this button now we'll come to this place now imagine for me to be able to select this right so what i did was now this is the button when you click on it you see it's just the frame that we are clicking on you double click again to open the group double click again to open this particular can you see on my layer is it keeps opening it then double click again before this one is selected so this is it but is this one we need because this one is forward forward this one is backward backward right so remember the buttons are the same 
right so this one now is to click to this next one so you click on this you drag it that is coming to the frame all right now and make sure you always check it that it's coming to variant too right so you just drag, drag no remember it's already on click by default so it is that click will make use of on click when i click see it on their own too when i click on this it would change when i click on this it will change right so when i click on this direction arrow it will change to this second one right so make sure you always check and it's showing variant too then if you the next one is variant three make sure it shows variant three instantly so you don't need to change anything all right so we close this okay so then this other one now will come to this one this one will come now this one we're going to do two right so this one now we're going to do that it would also go to the next one right on click variant three instantly then we are going to do that this this one right can go back to the first one let's say you want to go back so see it's on their own let's say you go to this first one you can also come back to the previous one right so this one can go back to the first one remember it is direction back forth right on click default instant right so we have that okay so now this one is going up this one is coming down all right this one is coming to the next one so you come to this place with double click also double click to you can assess it right this one will go back to this place please pay attention right on click instant variant 2 then this one is going to next to come to this one to this one right on click variant 4 instant right this one this one is going to double click this one can come back to this previous one on click variant 3 instant then this one would go back to the first one like it will go to this first one right on click default instant remember we did not do this one right so you have to do this one that this one if it's going back it means it's coming back to this place right so we we'll also drag it down to this one right and say on click instant variant four now let's see what we did so now remember it is still changing on its own let's give it time you can see it's changing on its own right it's changing on its own can you see it's changing on its own now we can also click on it can you see it's changing by itself and it's changing by we clicking it right so you can see it it is changing so even if i click this back one also it will change can you see it will still change all right so you can see that i can decide to click it i can decide to move it back forward and if we leave it it will still change by itself notice this hand now you see to change to a new one right so we've done two uh, two interactions in one in one spot here right so this is like you can do as many interactions micro interactions you know so many things you can do so many things all right you can do a lot of things um just by understanding how components work so components they thrive basically when we do um on interactions like interactions thrive on components as i was trying to say interactions thrive on components so um you have to know how to create your designs you know so you can see all the interactions we have here right you can see the wires and all of that right so it is very very possible all right so i would will call it a day i need you guys to be able to understand this and i don't want the tutorial to be so long right so on the next video we'll talk about how to achieve this one this one yeah how to achieve this 
when you, you notice when you scroll that's when it's going to move we'll talk about different types of interactions on this that is possible you can use the the this trusted by the way it's trusted by is moving we can use it here we can also use when we move it to scroll we can try different kinds of interactions here right so that's basically that okay so please i would like you guys to test this out if you have any issues you can message me directly and i would try as much as possible to respond all right thank you for watching this please practice as much as possible because you can easily you can easily get to forget this and it will be difficult to um, understand it again all right thank you peace